English words. tracks. Good afternoon. All right, Skylark, no problem. Enjoy that um, approach there. Hope everyone's doing good. Happy Tuesday. Let me get everything situated here. Hope everyone's having a great day or had a great day.
All right, we're on there. Here we are in Sanford. Sanford, Florida. We're in the 172. Just finishing up a couple of things and uh, and we're ready to go. All the time, guys. All the time. Hmm. That's so strange. logged me off your course is going to authenticate it All right. Nick, how are you today, sir? You're doing pretty good? Nick, how are you today, sir? You're doing pretty good? And you can hear me back on my feedback because I was trying to make sure everything was good. And it kicked me back. Nick, we're over here in Sanford. Isn't it nice? Um, PFR. You've been there a couple of times? Um... We're going to um, we're going to your your neck of the woods. We're going to Daytona. We're going to go Daytona and do some hop in there. Not too high. Just doing the VFR flight plan just in case um, anyone comes on. So it's already on there. Yes, sir. This is a G1000, but it's not just a regular G1000, ladies and gentlemen. It has the PMS 50 in there. So we're going to put that because it's on there. And like everything, clear prop. And we'll bring it back. To 800 to 1,000 RPMs. It's on there. We can leave everything on. No fuel pump was needed, as you can see. And we have, ladies and gentlemen, the PMS 50 GTN 750 on board that we're testing out again. Okay. 
We did it before and we're doing it again. We're trying to see if it actually is working to the specs they were saying. What is it? Delta Alpha Bravo, isn't it? I think it's Delta Alpha. Yeah, it is. Activate. We're on GPS. GPS. And I did set up the fuel. Yeah, we have plenty of fuel. You see that? We're going to test this out. See how it actually works. See this? You have to use this over here, but on here. So we're going to go 2,500. Twenty five hundred, two nine nine or two. We're not using real world weather, and let's use a uh, few clouds. Let's just use few clouds. Welcome back. Hope your landing was good. Yes. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming um, out tonight. My name is David, and I uh, welcome to the November 7 Delta Romeo channel. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, we're f I haven't flown the 172 in a while in the sim. In real world, I have. And um, but we're going to take our, her out out of Sanford. Uh, there is We did our flight plan out of Atsum just to ensure... If someone does come on, they already know. We're squawking 1,200. And we are going to take nine or left via, it's gonna be via Kilo anyway. Let me turn on the SIM toolkit. Hopefully it didn't. Connect to SIM. We're using Microsoft Navigraph. And we're out of here. Here's the taxi information. And you can also use it over here. This has it on there too. So we, we're going to just take Kilo Bravo out there. So Iowa Scotsman. How are you today, sir? Hope everything is doing well. You're doing good, my friend. And I guess my um, my bot is not working. Did I do something wrong? From our good friend, Iowa, Scotsman. Why did it not? None of my shout outs are working either. There, oh, let me see if this is working. That's so weird. Tang, hug the center line like you hug your woman, Mike. My shout out's over tight. Right rudder. Line that thing up. All right, so we're going to use, we're out of Sanford. Anyone that, uh, I would see if you can give yourself a shout out. See if it'll come out for me for some reason. It's not letting me do it. Oh, Lord. I've been having some problems, but it doesn't matter. We're at... Um, so on this one, this is a G1000, a 172 G1000, but we have it switched over to the GTN 750, guys. So I'm not going to go through the... Um, I am not going to go through the um, steps of the G1000 as you usually would do, but because we have the GT750 uh, on here from PMS. And Sanford traffic, good evening, 
uh, Cessna or Skyhawk seven Delta Romeo text for familiar of your Kilo Bravo to nine or left Sanford traffic. Yeah, something might be wrong with the, um, I've been having problems with it. Yeah, the winds are calm in regarding to that. We're going to take off from here. We know there's no one behind us, but in the real world, we would do our run up at spot five where we came out of. So um, that's what you physically would do your run up at. But mixture is rich. We didn't um, go ahead and do anything around that. So as you can see here, we're going to just. S17 and we're going to, we're looking for that drop and we know no one's behind or else I wouldn't do this but here goes to the right there's a slight drop back to both left back to both before we go ahead and make sure we make sure everything's still in the green the vacuum as you can see, everything's still in the green. Go ahead. And we're back to both. Bring her back down. There's no car beat in this. Um, generally, apparently things are working while well. others are not. Watch someone earlier that had working like they should so it could be anything two five right or 16 both uh runways give us a view of era all right no problem yeah i don't know what's going on i have no idea but anyway neither here or there we're going to go ahead and take off out of here we're going to give you a good view of the panels here all right troops landing everything is set sanford traffic uh Skyhawk 7 Delta Romeo departing um, out of um, out of 9 or left for a north departure Sanford let me lower this because thing is a little bit in my ear a little bit too loud all right brakes are off all right we're going to be taking off out of this runway we're at Sanford guys I didn't even do the briefing like I normally do all right, we're here, um, just to ensure before we take off, we are at Sanford International Airport, as you can see here. Niner Left has over 11,000 available runway to take off out of this uh, airport, especially with this Skyhawk. We will need any of that runway. Upon departure, before we get to our VR speed, which is around 55, any engine out, we are going to do maximum braking and stay on the ground. Anything um, above VR speed and we're already taking off, anything 0 to 30, most likely straight ahead to land this airplane. Since we have 11,000 square feet, anything above 500, we're going to try to make it back. If not, we're going to still try to land. There's a golf course, a golf course to, the, uh, to the east and just to the south that we would try. And then there's a roadway that runs north and south at the departure end. We have our seatbelts on. And um, usually in between here is the actual um, fire extinguisher doors, as you can see, you can open them from here. Windows, the only time you would open these doors if I say we're gonna evacuate and we'll evacuate to the rear of the airplane and meet back that way. Any questions? No questions. If you feel like you're hot or dizzy or anything, the ventilations are up here on the side. And if you're going to throw up, please throw up someplace not towards me. 
All right, guys, we've been briefed. Look at that. Um, no flaps on this takeoff at all. We're just going to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Compass matches. East. We're good here. Match. And heading. Set that off. We're not going to do. We're just going to fly into 2500. All right. You ready? Here we go. Power is on. And power is set. We are still in the green. Pole pressure is good. Temp is good. And airspeed's alive. Still looking good. There's rotation, 55. And we're going to climb out. We'll continue climbing. And we'll just aim for that nice VY. We're still looking good, guys, on this um, on this takeoff. There's Sanford. We're going to continue climbing to uh, 2,500. There's 400. We could do one or two things: fly it by hand, or use the autopilot. Guess what? I want to. I want to see what's going on today, so we're going to go and we're going to do autopilot. We're going to continue to climb and um, we're just going to make our turn here. That's an aggressive turn there for the nav. All right, we're going to use heading mode just a little bit more. We'll leave it at there, 360, and then we'll intercept because that's an aggressive turn that uh, autopilot did for us. Sanford traffic, Skyhawk 7 Delta Romeo departing um, the area to the north. Sanford traffic, last call. Beautiful view. We're still looking good. In real world, we would fly at 1,500 feet just to, um, they always depart out of um, Sanford at 1,500 and you get to departure. After departure, they will give you the climb out either 2,500 or uh, maintain 1,500 to you. Even though you're below the, um, the class Bravo shelf, um, they would keep you uh, 1,500 east to west until you clear Orlando International approach or, or departures the arrival section but there is no one on here so we're still looking good and we'll just hit nav and see if she'll capture that yep very nice We're still looking good on the climb. Yeah, we're going to be leveling out here. Above 3,000, you would uh, go ahead and lean out. But you know what? Under 3,000, Cosmo, Sogan, good evening, guys. Welcome. My commands are not working today for some reason. I will speed up a little bit here. We get down that, so we'll go ahead and power back. And then also lean out. Right around 2,400.
beautiful view here of uh, Sanford, isn't it? No, I don't think in the real world um, it exists that I know of. I, I, I don't know. That's a good... Look how beautiful that is. Great departure out of here. There's Sanford. Cosmo, how was your day? Are you working? Sogan, how are you today, sir? Doing very well. Hope you're fine. Hope work is uh, not too strenuous today. All right, we're still good. 2,400 RPMs. Oil pressure is good. Temperature is good. We're right around 2,400. We did lean back under 3,000. Guess what? Because I don't want to pay that $7 in fuel cost. So we are. I work 1 a.m. to 2 p.m. What? Holy mac. That's crazy. I thought I worked a lot. I really thought I worked a lot. I slept three hours, just woke up. Oh. Oh, you learned how to lean out, Sogan? So we're testing out... We're testing out the... Um, the PMS 50, the GTN 750 for Microsoft. We're 18 miles from um, from it, but there's some things that I don't know. I guess I haven't used it that much, so actually, give me a second. Let me see if this works. Let me see if this works before I say anything wrong. Um, DAB, Kilo, let's double check here. Let me see where our good friend is. 2-5, but you said the winds were calm, right? Um, I'll just come out. I'll just come out from here, the nine or left, or something like that. Is it closer? Is your school closer to nine center? Isn't it closer to the nine center? Oh, actually, I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> I was still looking at Sanford. Sorry. I was like, no, I was looking at Sanford. <laughs> uh, two five right. It's closer, and then you were saying, um, or 16. Let's go to 2 5 right. Let's just go to 2 5 right. Um, let me see. Okay, let's see if this works. Approach. Just, just bear with me. Let's see if this works. 2 5 right. Load approach. Um, let's see what this is doing now. All right, it's going to load the approach here. Let me just, oh, shoot. Back. All right. Oh, it's going to make me go all the way around. Because <clears throat> I was that close, all right? So, you know what? We'll go all the way around. <clears throat> well, that's going to be good, Nick, because you know what? You were telling me 16, so just they'll go just around that 16 and then just um, go north, come around 16. We'll see a parallel, and then we'll just come into 2.5 right and see what it looks like. But let's test out this PMS um, GTN 750. Here's the Bravo airspace, as I, I was trying to show you before. I believe I can get it up here. Let me see if this will pop up. Let's see if this will pop up. I don't like using it too much because you can't move it around. Oh, they're DMARs. Yeah. Uh, I don't. 
you still have to do everything on here. I'm just going to take it off. Come in. Cosmo, you've been working a lot. So good. Have you been flying that um, F-16? We're still looking good. Look at how nice that looks. How did you get so many icons along the top? Um, I I added the I added the uh, Navigraph charts. So if I put this on here, um, ah, hold on a second. If I let me just access my camera. You can take a pic, not a picture, but you just use the QR code on that. And um, sign in. What do you mean there's an error? What do you mean there's an error? Oh, there it goes. Okay. There it goes. All right, so I'm logged in now. No thanks. And let's say we're going to, we're going to, um, I don't have to type it in now. I can do it like this. So I have this set up um, that every time I have it on my checklist, remember when I showed you before this right here, that link? that I was showing you, if I press it, I might mess up the MFS add-on linkers. So I put that into the folder and then what I want, I put in there and then I put Navigraph charts and some other, um, the GTN 750 and I select those and they go on there. So, but I usually don't fly with this on here. So, so it doesn't block the view. Um, but here's the approach. We're doing this for our good buddy, Nick, that is here with us today, 2-5 uh, right. And as you can see here, it's going to, I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to go all the way around. Let's see if we have, I believe we have Patsy on here. So um, let's see where it is right here. You see where we're at? It's um, it's 20 miles from us, in regarding to the distance. We we, I mean, we don't have to go. We just bypass here, and then we go. We can go over the uh, Ormond Beach uh, VOR, I believe, right? Um, Nick, yeah, Ormond Beach VOR. It's way out there. Or we don't have to fly this all the way through. We can go to heading mode. You know, we can go to heading mode and turner and just do like a, a zero five zero heading. We can do there's um Daytona right there. I wonder if it will depict the, um, not too much lately, you want me to? See if you can get on Microsoft. I don't know if I'll see you or not. Well, I am on, um, I am on Vatsim, so. We're going to be coming over here. Let's say if 1500. See if she will descend. VS. We'll do 500. I got to bounce off. Hopefully, be back before the end of the day. So, again, thanks, man. Have a good night. Cosmo, I flew the 737 the other night. Again, I flew from Denver 
to Minneapolis with uh, one of the guys. I d had to do a go around uh, at the end because when I came across the, um, the, the, the arrival, I was still too high and too fast. <laughs> All right, we're descending um, out of 1500 Daytona Beach traffic. Good evening, Skyhawk. Seven Delta Romeo, five miles out to the west. Um, we're going to be entering the uh, right downwind for runway 26, over flying um, for our good friend Nick over the, uh, the nice uh, training facility there. Daytona traffic. There you go, Nick. I, I did a shout out for you, brother. I did a shout out for you, everyone that's there. Isn't that nice? We'll do 060 and we'll continue on here. And I wonder if that will... You were surprised? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm surprised myself on things that I do. I will continue down to 1000, enter pattern altitude here. But I wonder if this is my first time flying over here, if the actual Daytona... Uh, Speedway is depicted pretty good here or not. It looks like it is. It really looks like it is. Yeah, you can see it here. Everything looks good. Not too bad whatsoever. So here we're coming across. Um, all right. Make sure it's rich because we are still below 3,000. I don't know why I stopped descending. I had it to 1,000. I wanted to see if this was still depicted pretty good for the Daytona 500 or Daytona Speedway. It looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna just gonna turn it 070. All right, our uh, seatbelts are on. We're gonna be um, landing here in Daytona. All right, here we go, Nick. Your neck of the woods. Do you see your school? There's the approach in of uh, 16. Looks good, right? It's so weird that the air, um, the speedway is so close to the airport like that. It's like wrapped in there. Isn't that crazy? Sticky Rice, how are you today, sir? My shout outs are not working today, so I do apologize in regarding to that. There you go, Nick. We're just coming over. I'm glad we came through here. One six. There's the, uh, um, I think the school's on this side, isn't it? Oh, you're having the same problem? Okay. Yeah, none of the shout outs are working. Here we are. Yeah, we're a beam and I we're a beam the numbers there. So we're gonna go ahead and um And Daytona traffic, Skyhawk, 7 Delta Romeo, right base for, um, oh wait, 2, 6 right, Daytona. And we're going to take the autopilot off because I like flying this stuff by hand. You know, first notch of flaps, 
is welded down. Trim, trim, and let her come down herself. This is the... Um, this is where uh, Nick uh, flies out of, guys. Nice. Uh, you use your... Tele <laughs> Second notch of flaps here uh, on this turn here. Ladies and gentlemen. This is where Nick wanted us to land. And I think I overshot just a little bit. We're still looking good. No, I, I was doing something for one of the guys. I'm and I'm landing to the west. Um, Nick wanted to see the school, so I landed that way. So I was gonna land towards the east, but um, I was doing this for our buddy Nick, that goes to school here for all of his airplane, all of his flight instructions right over here. So we're we're doing this for him. All right, here we go. Plenty of runway on this uh, airport. All right, we're doing good. Just hold it center line. Center line right here, power back. Power back and hold her. Just hold her. We're on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. That was butter. That was butter. I don't even think the um, activated that so you can see the landing on that. Just move over here on that side. Yeah, that was that was a really good landing. Right, we're on that. We're going to take our strobes off. Landing out. And let's just... I wonder why it... It recorded it, but it did not come across here. Let me just start it again. Let's see if it goes into our... Yeah, I think... Um, I think there's a problem with uh, the sim because... Not the sim itself. Enough to land, take off, and land again. Huh? Yeah, that thing was beautiful. That was... Um, I can't tell you how great that was. Let me see something else. Give me a second, guys. Oh, I can't do it now. Let's see if I can do it again. That is so strange. Still didn't come on. I am on the runway here. Yeah, something wrong with it. That's why it's not coming through. I just noticed it again. Yep, one of those mysteries in life. Here we go out of here. And we'll flow forward. We're not going to go ahead and just sit here all night long worrying about that. And Daytona Beach traffic. Skyhawk 7 Delta Romeo is going to be crossing 1634 on Echo. Daytona Beach traffic. I don't even know if that's the correct Echo or not. I don't know if they, these are real taxiways or not. Most of them are blank. But... That was a that was a really pretty good landing there. All 
I wanted to see how that was. Cosmo, do you want to see the CJ4, Cosmo? Do you want to see the CJ4? How she flies? I could take this back around, do a trip from Daytona to Miami, show you the skyline. All right. Since no one's behind us, give me a second. Let me see if I can fix this real quick, guys. Let's see if I can fix this real quick. If not, we're going to keep on going. It is what it is, right? Let's see if it gives me the information that I need. All right, there goes the token. All right, let's see if this will open up. And if it doesn't, then there's definitely a problem, like uh, Sticky Rice said. Really, there is. Hmm. Off. Quit. Let's see. Nope. Nope. It's still not. Let me see. Let's see if it did it. Nope, it's still down. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, actually we're going to pull out the CJ4 here. Slayer T, how are you today, sir? Hope everything is going well for you. I'll do um I'll do one um and Daytona traffic uh, Skyhawk uh, 7 Delta Romeo It's going to stay in the pattern do one pattern and and do a full stop Daytona I'll do a I'll do a, a pattern for Nick since this is his home home airport here yeah, it has to be Twitch because nothing, I, everything I did, it didn't work. No autopilot. We're going to keep it rolling here. Airspeed's alive. Everything is still in the green. Hold that. Do that. And we're going to keep on gliding. I wonder if um, someone type exclamation glide. I want to see if that works at least. If someone can do that for me, I would appreciate it. Exclamation glide. FD's turned off. There it is. Protect that nose. Glide across the runway. Just glide like you got socks on gliding across the kitchen floor. Yay! <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All right, we're turning here. We're gonna do one more pass for our good friend um, Nick, and we're gonna we're gonna take the CJ4 up. that we're at a thousand everything hand flying Daytona traffic uh, Skyhawk 7 Delta Romero right downwind for runway 25 right 
Daytona. Nick, you're neck of the woods, man. You're neck of the woods. Oh, the ex oh man, that's a beautiful airplane. They say Daytona Beach. Oh, we're going to stay on there. That's a beautiful airplane, uh, Cosmo. Beautiful airplane. So we're doing this flight for our good friend Nick Gressler. You're on your commercial rating now, right, Nick? You're doing your commercial rating now? I believe so. There you go. All right, we are beam the numbers. Hold it. We have one notch of flap. There is, there is no, and we just have that on there at 15 and we can get in. Yeah, Melvin, good evening. Yeah, my shout outs are not working. Um, even Siggy Ray said there's something wrong with the shout outs. Nothing is working. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to do a real close Daytona Beach traffic's, I almost said Skyhawk, uh, 7 Delta Romeo, right base for runway 25 right. Daytona. There we go. Short approach. We'll turn her just a little bit here. We're still looking good. Plenty of runway here, guys. Plenty. Plenty. We're at 500 and confirmed. We're lo looking really good. Just hold us at type center line. The exclamation center line. Someone type center line for me. Exclamation center line. Tang, hug the center line like you hug your woman, man. Nice and tight. Right rudder. Line that thing up. There we go. We're holding that in there. We have full flaps. I told you we're a little bit high, but it doesn't make a difference. These Cessnas can fly really good. Hold that center line really good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Power back. Hold that center line. Pitch that up. And ladies and gentlemen, we are down. Look at that. No problem. I love the Cessnas. Love them. Melvin, how did you like that one? That was butter. We're going to take out that... Um, all right, we're cleared on there. Landing lights off, strobes off, taxi lights on. And Daytona traffic, uh, Skyhawk 7, Delta Romeo, clear, runway 25 right. And you know what? Man, we just taxi over here to um, General Aviation, Daytona Beach traffic. We're going to just go over here. And we'll change out to that um, citation for, yeah, the CJ4. I love, I love flying the 172. I'm, I have so much time in it that it is almost... I wish I wish the um, the sim toolkit was working so you can see well it's giving me the ratings it's giving me the landing predictions over here and um, let's see if I can show it to you guys because it's giving me the landing predictions on my side but it's not coming across on you Let's nav, taxi, and the beacon stays on. All 
All right, we'll we'll take that one. Let me see if you guys can see it or not. Hmm. Both times, let me just show it to you guys. I have to open it up, the capture. As you can see here, negative 96 on that landing, and the first one that I landed was a negative 94. The Boeing 737, I flew from Denver to Minneapolis. I got a negative 36. <laughs> Slayer T. My buddy, man. You make me laugh. You make me laugh, my, my friend. You make me laugh. All right, let me take out the display capture because it ruins your... Um, it ruins everything. All right, we are going to go here. Sorry. And menu, go back out. Yeah, the, can you believe that? Aircraft. Textron liveries. Hmm. My, oh, I didn't get the livery that I liked. Hmm. Wonder why my livery didn't come up. All right, we are in Nick's hometown for flying. I think we're right. Actually, we'll just go over here. Well, I'm going to Denver, uh, Denver, Denver. I'm going to go to Daytona to Miami because I want to show you. I did an add-on. Um, I did an add-on here and, um, and I want to make sure it's, it's correct. Or the add-on for the nighttime lights. So... And we're not flying at night, ladies and gentlemen. We're not flying at night that dark. All right, we're going to do that. Go back. <laughs> what do you mean by that, my uh, fork boy and, and true vibes, Slayer? What do you mean? There's no fork boy. Here's seven Delta Romeo. We're 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 gonna take the CJ4 up, ladies and gentlemen. Let me change the um the information though. And connect CJ4. Alright, so we're there. Let me just go to Twitch and change the information. CJ4. All right, I updated that. Copy layouts almost looks like a scare bus. Yeah, it does. It does. All right, so here we're going to go here. We're going to bring this down here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, again, I am not a CJ4, of course. Um, pilot so just like um our good friend uh what's his name that flies um the twin 414 air wagner these are for that guy's crazy i do have a video that i want to show you guys a flight that i did in real world yeah so let me go back up here oh let me just uh, make sure I, I have the battery set. We go to mode. Here's the ground power unit right here. We're going to put that on back to index and we're good. Chugly. 
Plain Geek 63, oh God, don't get me started on Jerry Wagner. <laughs> uh, has a mind of a jet and turbine now. He no longer cares. Chugly, I just did a flight for, uh, I just did a 172 flight. I went to Daytona and I'm showing my good friend Cosmo um, the CJ4. So I have the ground power unit on. I don't know if it'll depict that. No, it doesn't. But we are going to do a flight. Chugly, welcome. I'm in Daytona. Doesn't mean I, I'm not going to fly, but um, I'm going to show you what this plane can actually do. So I'm going to go into my sim brief. I know you guys can do that. Plane Geek 63, you know what? That gentleman, I haven't watched uh, uh, his video in the last couple of months. I know he stopped posting for a while, but I don't know. I don't know what happened, but he's crazy. All right, no. He just sometimes, I, I don't understand the things he does. I mean, should I understand it? Probably not. Should I care? Uh, he he was investigated by the Oakland FSD. So he nuked his channel. Oh, that's what it was. All right, so CJ4. If you go on there, on there, seven. We're not going to do that. We're going to use 2-5 right. That's where we were at. And Miami, we're going to use 2-6 right. Exactly. And let's see what they have. Why would they do that? That's ridiculous. Why would it go all the way out? That's what it's calling for. It's calling from... It's asking for that information. No, I'm, I'm going to... Um, all right. Perfect. All right, save this flight. We're going to save it. Then we're going to generate it. We'll leave this on my screen so I can see it. But we'll go back down to here. And I forgot. Please, route menu. Right here we go in loading flight plan. There's our flight plan. Daytona, Miami, 2-5 right. And then, of course, we need to verify. We need to verify. Chugly, you're going to fly? There's no direct end legs. In mallet, Trevor. Direct um, Haley, Miami. Let's just go over here just to make sure departure, arrival, and Haley 7 arrival. It brings it in there. As you can see, it brought all of it in. You might have to just make sure that you have it on there, but it's a, a pretty where is she? No, I want eight left. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to do something. And get the transition here. And then we're going to look at that arrival. 
R7. And departures and make sure that is correct it's only one transition anyway all right we go hit the legs oh that's right that is not um, barbs next the only thing I don't like so far that I've seen Oh, um, delete, delete. Oh, you can't do that after vector. Yep, that is correct. Can't do it after a vector. All right, so we're looking good on that. Index. There's a status all of our information. You can do everything on here. The weather, I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. Um, in regarding to the weather, data link. See the weather here? You can even type it over here, ATIS, and you can send it. As soon as you send it, here it'll come up. Well, I'm on VATSIM, so there's no one on VATSIM right now. Um, but it's really good. Are you guys, are you guys flying someplace else? But it's really good information on here. So if you go back to your information that you have from SimBrief, you can get the weather in the top. Okay, you're going to join me? All right. I'll wait for you then. It's been a while since uh, Slayer T and Chugly um, have come in and, f and flown. That's really good. 257. That's what it's saying in real world, but... And we're going to send so we can get our V-speeds. V-speeds completed. And I wonder if, um, METAR, I wonder if, um, oh shoot, I did that wrong. Well, I'm in the CJ4 and I'm, I'm doing the, um, direct, um, inland, direct mallet, direct, tr um, Tango Romeo Victor, but you guys find the Airbus. It's a little bit different. None of the um, none of the um, METARs are working at all either. Just out of all right, two eight zero nine zero at seven. So zero nine zero at seven and two eight is the temperature. We're on there, dry, everything is good. All right. And we're gonna use 122.8 over here. We're gonna change our comms. I'm using uh, There we go. We're set at 122.8 again since we turned that off. Here's our legs. Then there are vectors on there. I say we had a crazy lightning storm here in LA. Chugly, let me get this up for you. Hold on a second. Copy. Paste. 
There you go. All right, so once we have that in there, this CJ4 is really easy to start. Flip. Anytime, sir. Anytime. Looking for the ITT and then the N1. Watching the videos, they were saying no, nothing above 22. I don't know if that's correct or not. I'm not a CG, CJ4 pilot, but that's what I saw on video. <laughs> Just like we see Air Wagner all the time. I have my beacon on over here on my Cinetech, but it's not showing over here. All right, yep, 23. There we're, we're good on there. Left. Cover. Yeah, we can go in Discord. A slow T, I am I am not flying real world weather, sir. I am not flying real world weather because of that. <laughs> I have seen lightning like that since the mid eighties. Wow. It was that bad, huh? I will get it down to um, the nighttime when we get past Boca Raton, because I want to see the add-on. I did the add-on from Microsoft 2020 that in high, in enhances the lights of the cities from Boca down south. So we're going to see what that looks like. But I want to see the airplane. You know how that goes. So once that is done, once we have that set up, guys, we go here. Next. Mod. Turn off the ground power unit. Ground power unit is off, as you can see. We have um, sim brief and everything else. See where it says FAA. We should be able to get that. All right. So once that is on, on, everything else is armed. Air condition, as you can hear. We do not turn on the pitot st uh, statics until you are two minutes prior to departure. And we can see where our good friends are at. I don't see anyone yet. But our good friend wanted to fly directly at night. Nothing else but nighttime. That's Mr. Slayer T who always wants to fly using Microsoft 2020 because X-Plane 11 is not his cup of tea, ladies and gentlemen. Our good friend Slayer T, who also, um, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll put nighttime and real world weather. I'll put it on for you, Mr. Slayer T. I will do that for you. <laughs> I'm not going up that high. It was asking for 41,000. We're going to, I'm just, we're going to be um, I believe I'm going to just do 25,000. I'm not going to go up that high. We are waiting for our good friend Chugly and all right, moving over to Discord. Let me turn it on. Give me a second. All right, so we have everything. I'm, I have to go back again because I have to make sure I didn't forget something. And um, there we are, our good friends. Let me take it off. Are you guys there? <laughs> Our good friends Chugly and Slayer are in Discord now. The 
great Dave Rendon, our friend. Am I on now? Yes, you are. Here's, here's the chugster. <laughs> ah, I had the mute going, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old crew back together, gang. Yay! How's it going? We that had is... uh, Kilo Delta Alpha Bravo, correct? All right, guys. So while they're getting... Yep. Their information, the good thing about it is they, there's a passenger brief here that you can do that I don't have it too loud out. But if you listen up here, like if you're, if you're taxing, you can. It'll do everything. The oxygen, uh, seat belts, everything. Turbulence. That's a really good thing to have. You can take that off and also you can do your seat belts here. And I'll play the message for Now we have a party. Melvin, you're more than welcome, sir. Whoever wants to come into uh, Discord, uh, we're usually doing pretty good. I wonder if that would work. Nope, that won't even work. Everything is down. I'm doing 25. I'll, let me look at the. Uh, let me just go on the So, uh, it's. Uh, the weather and the winds that it's showing me. So you have your chart here and while they're getting load up. You see how that has the chart there, so you can just <laughs> click it. Right. Here is. Altitude to. Here's our uh, departure for where our. Uh, planning requirement and if you can go right here the good thing about it is you can go here for the arrival going into Miami around the coastline and then when you get to Miami it'll have your your uh, charts here all right you guys all know I fly VFR all the time so we're gonna we're gonna test this out ladies and gentlemen we are going to test this out See, look, look how nice this looks. Doesn't that look nice? Oops, I hit that wrong button there. Very nice. And since... Yeah, I figured I'd go full airline this time. Last time I was in a business jet, now I'm in a mad dog. I think I'm gonna go with a... Uh, I think I'll go with... Uh, now we do have a party. Is that the part of the Navigraph plugin? Yes, sir, it is. So you can, while they're getting ready, you can have it over here. Oh, excuse me, over here. And you can have the same thing over here. So if we're in, um, in on here. And um, the SID. So, not bad at all, right? Yeah, I'm going to go with 24,000. But you would get vectored from from this. Sure, we're not going to fly this whole, um, of course, we're not going to do this. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Are you guys doing good? Uh, just getting the flight together here real quick. No, no problem. Are you guys going up to 41, flight level 41, or? No, you I just looked at the weather. I'm doing 24,000. Oh, yep. The winds, All right. the winds look uh, inviting at that level. Yeah, I was doing 25. Yeah, that's what I was. I was at 25. I was going to stay, but you know what? We're going to stay at 25,000. We're doing really good. And um, I'm glad you guys uh, you came up. And uh, to fly today. As as a surprise, no. So, uh, Cosmo, you see how everything is in here? It is a great... This is the only thing you have to, to worry about. The battery, avionics, the CJ4. Um, it's um, really a really nice airplane. And it does, and it does mock um, 0.7. I got it up to 7.5, almost 7.6. So, it's a, a pretty good... Did something wrong 
hear my flight plan. Oh dear. It so. says, uh, to get to Mallet, I have to fly 6,885 miles. You chose the wrong Mallet. That's <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds like you chose the wrong Mallet. He chose the wrong Mallet, guys. Now we're doing a quick charter flight. The last so. Cosmo, if you want to fly your 737. <laughs> yeah, right. No, this is pretty good. I'm glad you guys uh, came aboard. I want to see. 3002 is altimeter. We're waiting for our good friend to um, to come across here and okay. load up. Okay, I need to change this. Back. So, uh, push these right here, the PFDs, you can set up for your um, you can set up for your configurations here, the menus, like um, let's say the um, the minimums were two ninety three. Let's just say that. That would be set right there. It'll yeah. show you autopilot. Well, but everything works on that. We're going to set for VREV. We would be, it's really quick to, uh, to get this. <laughs> so let's see what my OFP is saying now. Yeah, here's the thing about Dave Rendon. That is an important man, and if he asks, he calls and says he needs to do something, you're gonna get it done. That's right. <laughs> so we have the critical, <laughs> critical Mora in the area. I don't even know how long I will stay awake. So it's no problem, buddy. Thank you so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, Jose, don't worry about it. Our buddies, we're just waiting for our, our guys to, to just come on here and get started. It's not his fault. He's in the Airbus. The computer takes a while to do all its stuff for you. It's all right. Are you guys going to take off from 2-5, uh, right? Uh, yeah, I heard you say 2-5, right? So I go there as well. Yep. All right. Uh, this is giving me seven left. <laughs> it's an Airbus. It doesn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going then. That's where I'm going. My crew is busy setting up. So we're waiting for our good friend. Flight level two, four. To, uh, to get on here. Two five right. Peter, how are you today? I'm doing really good. Besides the system being down. I'm doing very well, sir. Thank you for coming out. Sorry I can't give you a shout out. The system's down. I've been having an issue with it. So we're just waiting for our good friends to um Yeah, it is a shame. I haven't heard anything. There's our good friends over here. I think that must be Chugly over here in the Airbus. Chugly's first of all, though. first of all, it's disrespectful to say I'm an yeah. Airbus, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, <laughs> that's, that's fighting words. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go here. They want us to fly live. Live time. Live weather. Actually, I'm not going to do the... 
Daytona traffic, Delta 1012 is going to be crossing 1634 at Whiskey 3 on the way to Dubai right Delta. 3002. One, two, three zero zero two times two, and three zero zero two. Yep. And Here we go. Just got back, no issues on the walk around. So far, everything's been really good, Peter. We we flew the one seventy two out of Orlando, Sanford, Orlando, and then we went over to. Um, Daytona did a touch and go and everything else. So now we're heading towards Miami. I want to check the new scenery that I put in for South Florida. And we're going to check that out now. So, hey, Daytona traffic. Um, Citation 7 Delta Romeo at General Aviation. Going to taxing to uh, 25 right, Daytona. I probably should have gone down to the main taxiway, but whatever. <laughs> Yo, back for a little bit. Way. Okay. Got you, Sogan. We have Chugly on here. I don't know if you, uh, See Slayer over there. He's over there at the gate. Oh, I hit something. Yeah, two fires no, I don't. Right. I don't. I don't see him. Two fires. Two fires uh, right on the winds is pushing the plane. Fox, uh, Fox Bravo Whiskey Two Four Six is what he shows me. Fly by wire, baby. Fly the by. Red. Well, wait a second. I heard the Airbus, if I'm correct or not, I heard the Airbus can land in a uh, tailwind at 15 knots. Well, it can do it once at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to get my passengers on board. This is full set. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're just waiting. are done. Okay, we can start boarding. Start boarding like 10 passengers. And and that. Here oh, James. I just got a message. We're just waiting for. Oh, no, here he comes, sucker. Late but never. Ah, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girl, we're still waiting for our good friend. Real world weather here. Since our friend wanted us to have real world weather, we were going to Walmart, but my mom can't find her car, so I'm just in an awkward spot. Hey, no worry about it, bud. Take care of family. You know I don't fly that often, but I have Chugly here. I have Slayer T. They're flying. One's flying the scare bus. Chugly, you're flying the Boeing? Mad dog. Uh, yeah, I'm in the McDonnell Douglas uh, MD-82. All right. Well, just we're, we're waiting for Slayer T. Don't and wait. I'll catch up. Keep it pushing. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Airbus okay. will climb at 200 feet a minute. But Daytona be traffic. Citation 7 Delta Romeo. Uh, taking position of two five right. Daytona. All right, we're gonna make strobes are on, landing lights are on, everything is on. Fuel this bad boy. Passengers are getting on. Fuel truck is here. Start fueling. Can't just fly the Airbus, boys. Gotta, you know. 
getting stuff in there. All right, here we go. We're on here. The toga button is located right here. Which is not really a toga. This doesn't have, you know, the correct... Um, it does not auto-throttle or anything else like that, so... All right. We're going to be doing the uh, Royce 7 departure. Daytona traffic, uh, Citation 7, Delta Romeo on the go. 2-5 right, Royce 7 departure, Daytona. All right. Both engines are up. I almost forgot from not talking. And here we go. Air speed of life, we have two good engines. V1, rotate. This thing climbs like a bad error. We're going to do heading for right now. Autopilot, yaw damper, heading, flight level change. And she's going to climb, and then we're going to sit for one click. One click. No one's on, so we're going to go up here. Oh, plane geek. Okay, got you. Got you. Got you, sir. And as you can see, you can go back over here. See? Move over on here. Landing lights off. Taxi lights off. I hope my um, stuff are going on. As you can see on here, Craig's, Roy's. Daytona traffic, Delta 10 12, taking off 2 5, right off of the A red departure. So, the Daytona. And then we can go ahead. Turning one eight zero. And we're going to continue this climb on here. We could, after we do this turn here, we can hit the Roy's or go directly to, to Craig. But that's what we're doing. I mean, I like, actually, I like mallet. We're going to go direct mallet. We're going to go direct mallet. There's no ATC. And then you have your, you have all your information here. So we're going to climb here. We're climbing at 3,700 feet per minute. We're at 8,000 feet already. Wonder why it turned off here. Look at the beautiful, look how beautiful this look. There is, um, there's Chugly right there. She's a beautiful, beautiful airplane to fly. What do you think, Plane Geek? What's the arrival runway you got, Chuck? 
Uh, I don't remember. I just plugged one in. I think I did eight right or something. <laughs> yeah, I did eight left. I did eight left. Peter says, I cannot wait for the MD80 to come out for Microsoft 2020. Yeah. I haven't flown that in a while. Or actually, I haven't, had, I haven't flown that at all. As per real, real world, expect ILS runway 8 right or runway 9. Our and GPS approach, runway eight We're going to go to Miami here and look at their arrivals. Copy that, Chuckley. Uh, ILS 8 left, right? No. <laughs> 8 right or runway 9 for ILS? Ah, okay, gotcha. Here we're climbing eight out right of uh, 16 to 25, flight level 250. Get finger tap. And we're just waiting for direct mallet. Just outside of the Ormond Beach VOR. It should come up over here for you guys so you can see it. We're climbing, doing really good on the climb here. 240. This thing is um, like a rocket. We are Mach point five zero. Five zero. Weather looks good. I w once we get past Palm Beach, um, that's when that uh, scenery comes into effect. Um, we should be able to see uh, the Miami and everything else that is on there. So we're we're doing really good. Welcome everyone uh, to the stream. I really do appreciate everyone that's stopping by and and uh, yeah, it's a add-on for the lights from Boca to um, Boca to Miami. So that's not bad at all, right? I'll show it to you when we get it um, a little bit closer. All right, fuel is done here. Let's go. I'm um, at 20, almost 23,000. How far back are you, um, Chugley? Oh, uh, I was actually kind of following the route, going to 4,000 and vectoring out and stuff, kind of waiting on him. But I, mean, I think I'm just going to head inbound to, like, uh, Mallet or Inland now. Okay. Get in there, guys. Get in there. So do you want me to vector around? Altitude. No, I'm fine. I think I'll just go direct now. I think he's almost up. Uh, haven't even left the gate yet. What? Oh. <laughs> nice. Airbus isn't. Don't just jump in this thing and go. Just don't. Not the way I fly it. All right, I'm at flight level 250 now, and then I'm, I'm at uh, Mach 0.57. All right, here we go on that. Who's Slayer T? Who are you talking about, Sogan? 
Oh, Cosmo. He's so something. Yeah, he does sound nice and calm. He does sound nice and calm. Very nice and calm. Uh, we should be passing Orlando right now. We are waiting for our good friend to come on board. He's still flying. I don't want to be so far back. Don't want to be too far away. We do not want to be so far away from him. <laughs> I feel like it's more. Hey, Chugly, uh, I'm going to make a right turn and go around Orlando, so... Um, our good friend uh, Slayer T can catch up. Roger. All right, we're gonna just go heading mode. Are you guys there? Yep. No, I mean, uh, how close far are you from destination? Um, I'm just getting to um, just outside of Mormon Beach. I'm making a right turn now, heading back towards Orlando. So um, you can get closer. Look how nice this looks. We're waiting for our good friend to come up. Can't leave anyone behind. Let's go back over here. Rich, how are you today, sir? How are you? Glad to see you. Hope everything is going good. There's one thing I forgot to do, guys. Oh, no. You weren't left behind, sir. You were not left behind. Okay. We have our good friend, um, 
Slayer T is still out. He's still in Daytona. He's flying the Airbus. But just uh, waiting for him. We're gonna we're doing a uh, a nice. Yes. I'm just coming up um, just uh, east of Kissimmee. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably go up just past Kissimmee, circle back up north, and that should be giving you enough time to um, taxi out. Yep, I'm pushing back. <laughs> Oh, Rich um, bought all the Orbix for North America. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Sogan, have a good one, sir. Oh, it took the whole weekend to download? Wow. Here we are. It's a um, nice sunset. All right, right turn, 360. Wow, over one terabyte. There's Orlando International. Right there. All right, just uh, passing over Orlando International Airport now. Heading uh, 360. There's Orlando International, guys. Oh, that's excellent. Making your own uh, ortho. That's really nice. Wow, a, a eight terabyte, Jesus. That's something. That's a lot. Yeah, we oh we downloaded Fork Boy, Slayer T's uh, favorite. Yeah, we're coming over Orlando now, like we did. Slayer, did you take off? Push him back. <laughs> I might have to add more fuel. But some special spots I am generating ZL to 18. Holy Jesus. You should just go to Microsoft. Right? <laughs> oh Lord. I want my FMS to work. Well this this FMS does work. 
Chuckley, where are you at now? Because I'm just north of Orlando. Uh, I'm turning inbound uh, 34 miles towards TRV. Okay. What I'll do is when I get just outside of Daytona, uh, Deltona, I'll turn direct to TRV. And um, that should give our good friend enough time to catch up. Yeah, I guess I'm further south than you because TRV is uh, further south than even uh, Melbourne. And Melbourne's already lower than Orlando. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already very north because I'm waiting for him. I, I'm 360 and I'm, yeah. I'm in the soup. At 24? Yeah, I'm blocked out here unless, uh, let me check. Must be a bit worse up north. I'm, I'm not in the seat at the moment. Yeah, it's just not raining. It's just I'm in clouds. Ah, yeah. All right, you ready? Um, I'm just coming up to Sanford. I'm gonna make a right turn back zero nine zero. The things we do for our good friends, right? Oh. Airbus 320, taxi into runway zero. <laughs> I'm going to do a big old vector loop around like I'm in a hold for because of, uh, you know, ATC. Yeah, well, that's what I did. I did a, a complete hold. I'm just passing over Sanford right now. Or else we would be descending right now into Miami. I know what to say, man. Those Airbuses. Oh no. When everything that works on a computer, it takes 100 hours to open up. Hey man, I had to board the 10 passengers. <laughs> I had to do l luggage. I had to do all these things. It's all uh, Dave Rendon's requests. And I had to find a crew. What you need is one of those people that works on the Japanese Metro, where they shove the people in. You need one of those guys in there just shove people in your plane. Uh, I'm getting lightning at uh, flight level 240. Alright guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Did he take off? 
do you think I'm driving a Formula One car to the uh, departure runway? <laughs> um, yes. Well, I'm making a right turn now, oh, and I'm direct to Mallet. Oh dear. So, did you should be? Um, I guess you'd be number three unless you pass me. No, no, I didn't get up in the area. I'm about to do it. I'm, I'm speeding. I'm high speed taxiing right now, just for you, Dave Rendon. It's nope. All no. Hey, no problem whatsoever. My guy, and I'm doing this for you. My wife just looked at me and said, Make sure I'm washing the dishes before you come to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and you look at her and go, Hey, you're my girl, no problem. <laughs> I'm saying, Whatever you say, honey. I just gotta do this thing with Dave Rendon real quick. Dave, you're so invisible nowadays. <laughs> What have you guys been up to anyway? How's everything been going? I know we haven't flown in a while. Yeah, life. Oh, busy and then just some getting over some crap. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. All right. I'm going to be going direct now because I believe you'll be able to catch up. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm at Mach uh, 0 0.70 for this little thing. I forgot to put my camera back on, guys. Sorry about that. <sighs> I, I thought that was intentional after. I'm like, you're a bit uh, invisible over there, and you didn't turn it back on. I thought it was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to turn it back on. So, um, it's a really good airplane. I really love it. Um, the, the FMS works really good. Here's going to capture here. He's going to make us turn left here. And really nice. Look at that. I mean, it's a good thing because you can still fly with like the guys with, like you and the Airbus and they'll stay on end. And the working title works really good with this airplane. All right, let me check what we have. Um, Palm Beach, 1311, highly. Palm Beach. Rube. Canes. Letting the rip, boys. Letting the rip. That's excellent, man. That's excellent. I'm so happy to hear that word. <laughs> Hundred knots. Rotate. It's going in the sky like a positive climb. Run away track. Gear up. Thousand 
now that's much better. So we're going to do... Our furthest down, step down. We go direct to Just Rubo is 11. Let's uh, 7,000. 7,000 and. I'm directly over Patrick Air Force Base right now. And we're doing VNAV down. So we have everything set up. As you can see, it's coming up on, on our screen here. We're just coming over Ormond Beach. And if we go back here to our previous uh, leg page. The only thing, um, sometimes, and maybe it's the way I uploaded it into the, it, it doesn't give you the... Um, the altitude restrictions sometimes it does and I might have done something wrong but well that's why we're checking here in regarding to that so what's your ground speed 435 okay that's about like mine look at this beautiful scenery guys Screenshots, guys. Screenshots. Very nice. All right, we're coming up. Melbourne. This weather would huh, let me get the stream on. Whoops, sorry about Sim. Didn't file that flight plan. Didn't do the flight plan. Oh, we're still looking good. We're set up for our VNAV. There's no auto throttle, so we're going to do this ourselves. Jesus. There's some lightning there. There's some lightning there, ladies and gentlemen. Two, seven, nine. Two seven nine. What is our decision height? All right, escape. You can do multiple things on this. You can leave that chart on, or you can do the memory if you have everything set up. Friend Dave Brendan always says, "Let us get ahead of the aircraft and let us see yep. what our arrival is doing." I need to be at ten thousand. Yep. By highly. Or you can so use the format over here and change it. Here, you can use that and leave your chart up. Whatever is easier for you to do, 10, that's what you use. Right. right? And if you want terrain, so traffic. Calculations. K -M -I -A. K -M -E 
there's the traffic right here in front of us. And, uh, uh, are you a thousand feet above me? I'm just coming up. Um, uh, let me see. I'm 12 miles from uh, TRV. I'm at uh, 250. Okay. All right, I'm at 250 also, so I'm behind. I'm two miles from TRV. All right, so I'm behind you by 11 miles. <laughs> yeah, you're about. I just over 10 miles of trail. Yeah, so I um, I can track you. This is a good thing about this airplane. Look, you can see um, has the TCAS and everything in it, so it's really nice. My old TCAS is just shows me like a five mile ring on a little, on a little VSI. So where are we going here? I don't, uh, I guess we have real world weather. My SIM toolkit is not working, so I can't do the the briefing. Really? Yeah. It's, not working. it's, dude, I haven't got anything. Did you update it? Um, I got to check. This is for you. This is for you, Slayer T. Listen. Why is, why is, what? no, wait, hold uh, on. Too rare, too white. Stand by. Uh, I missed it. <laughs> Uh, we not gonna be dead, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> too red, too white, we alright? This guy. Oh my god, this is for you too. Tang, hug the center line like you hug your woman, man. Nice and tight. Right rudder. Line that thing up. <laughs> oh dear. Hey man, we got some bad weather coming in here and you wanted to fly at night. Yeah, man. Up the challenge, bro. All right. So our good friends here, Chugly and Slayer T, thank you for everyone that has uh, stuck around with us to fly this uh, flight from Daytona to Miami. And uh, we're flying at night because Slayer T said so. And oh, uh, <laughs> Because we want to look at your lights yeah. that you purchased. I'm yeah. looking at my lights that I've had on this system, and they're looking beautiful. Yeah, we did. You know what? I was going to show you guys uh, how much further. We, we have enough time here. Hold on a second. I, I got it. Hold I on a second. You guys, you guys, I did another flight. I was going to show you guys. You wanted me to show it to you oh, or not? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see that. Since we have enough time. All right. So, YouTube. Uh, YouTube. You let me know when we get a little closer. Can you guys hear it? Com one, com two, one, two, three point zero five. Let me know, guys, if you can hear that. On the way, you're behind your uh, cam, but I hear it. All right, I turned off the cam. See, why didn't he? Why didn't he get a? I'm gonna do this just for you, Chubby. I'm why gonna do this. <laughs> All right, this flight right here. The gentleman that's flying with me, he's a captain for an airliner, and he hasn't flown VFR, so he lives outside of Orlando, and he's been wanting to go VFR flying with me, so. Um, didn't want to do anything about instruments. He just wanted to fly and have a good time. To Tampa North for some breakfast. With my buddy Andrew. Yeah, yep, I'm hungry too. Yeah. So is that Zephyr Hills over there, kind of behind the wing? Yep, that is. That's Zephyr Hills. Okay. Someone's getting stepped on. Gotta love CTAF.
And good morning, Tampa traffic. Skyhawk 738 Julia Delta, seven miles to the east inbound for one way one four. We're going to come over the uh, top at 1500 and then turn right downwind for one four. Tampa North. Uh, oh, that's a cool pool, pool, pool and water park area down there. That thing's huge. See that? Oh, wow. It's like a, it's like a lake almost. Alligator free probably too. Yeah, imagine that. Oh, it's beeping for me because I forgot to change it over here. That's the same exact alert sound that the Embraer has. That altitude alerter. Beep, 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 beep. That, well, no, that, that. I came down too quick for you. Oh, it's nice. It actually shows the uh, arc. Where we're going yeah, yeah, to be at. Up. Yeah, all that, that's, uh, that's really awesome. Well, we have 1,500. We almost got it to yellow. So we got one guy off the left. I don't think he'll be a factor, though. Everything is still good. We're still in the good. In the green there, there's a little bit of a... Welcome to Florida. Yep. Hold on, just in case the autopilot turns off. I put my harness back on here. All right, we're still good. Both make sure we'll set on on uh, when we get closer. Lights. I already did the pre pre fight briefing already. Way out. I know you don't have any questions or anything, do you? Nope. We're over the top here. Oh, there it is. Yep. Looks like it's just in a commercial park. Yep. Tampa North, uh, Skyhawk 738, Julia Delta over, flying the field for 1-4, Tampa North. I'll come out over here. And I'll do a teardrop to the left. Copy. Autopilot confirmed off. I heard Pac-Man. Yep. All right, show me what you're made of here. Isn't that something? Just go out just a little bit. A captain for a freaking sure airline no other planes in sight. puts me on the spot. Show me how you, you're made of. Jesus. <laughs> so a little bit of a bump. Yeah. Can you believe that? And I know you won't get saying. Just fine. He's a pilot. You're yeah. Dave Rendon. Send it. <laughs> yeah, I did a teardrop to the left and then came into a right downwind. Jumper North traffic, Skyhawk 738, Julia Delta entering at 45. Three into the downwind for one way one four Tampa North. Full stop. Yeah, we were getting rocked a little bit here with some 
explore the weather with turbulence a little bit. A little windy there, isn't it? Yeah, or a little, just a, a little bumpy, and now the sun's heating up the ground. Yeah, you can see it in that bobbling. Yeah. Looking at the smoke over there, looks yeah, like... Yeah, we were getting bounced around. You def it's not very strong, but you definitely are landing with a headwind, so... But it's not going, going too crazy over there. Maybe a little bit of a left crosswind. We're 1700. Tampa North traffic, Skyhawk 738, Julia Delta, right base, 14, full stop, Tampa. It's a, it's a miracle how you can hear everyone, right? Yeah. yeah, you can feel a little bit. Picture is rich, everything is still good. For a full stop, thank you back. Plant your traffic. Tampa North traffic, Skyhawk 738, Julia Delta, on final 1-4, Tampa North. Oh, oh. Yeah, we do have a, a nice little bit of a crosswind here. Tang, hug the center line like you hug your woman, Mike. Nice and tight. Right rudder. Line that thing up. <laughs> I, I did that one for, for Slayer T. Oh, wow. What's for Chugly? Oh, I'll get something. I'll get something. For, the next one's for Chugly. Okay, okay. <laughs> Looking good. There it is. Protect that nose. Glide across the runway. Just glide like you got socks on, gliding across the kitchen floor. Hey. Speaking of glide. Now, that was the 7 Delta Romeo landing. All right. We're going to go all the way to the end. No breaks. Oh, our good friend Slant Welcome to Alpha. Yay. All the Raiders, thank you so Mr. much, Slant. Uh, Mr. Rob, how are you? I'm gonna, a nifty uh, little airport. Rob, let me show you this landing, Rob. Everyone, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much, Rob, for uh, giving the raid. My name is David. I'm, as you can see, I'm showing one of the one of the flights that I was coming in in Tampa North. Um, we are flying to Miami in the CJ4. And um, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for coming by. We do have a was just gonna nice ask little you bit to. of a crosswind here. I, yep. I'll play it again for you like this I did. This one's tight. for hold the center line like you hold your woman, Mike. Nice and tight. Right rudder. Line that thing up. That was from my good friend Slayer T. And this is Tampa North. I was coming in with a captain from an airliner. He wanted to fly VFR. So yeah, I took him out to breakfast. And uh, we had a little bit of a crosswind here. Looking good. There it is. Protect that nose. Glide across the runway. Just glide like you got socks on gliding across the kitchen floor. Hey. Look at that landing. Seven three eight Juliet Delta on this flight to Tampa North. That was a good flight, uh, Rob. All the way to the end. No breaks. Yes, yeah, sir. All the way Welcome down to, to eat North. breakfast yeah. without breaks. Yay. <laughs> it was a good flight. I have another one, but I think we're getting close to our descent here. And I got to make sure that I don't do that. Again, thank you for uh, so much. Are you still up to 250? Um, I got to make sure how far I am. 
Oh, see, I was talking. I was talking, and look at my plane didn't descend. Oh uh, no, no, it's top top of descent is just after after uh, I believe it's Keynes. You know what? Where are you? Northwest Airlines just called. They have an opening for you. <laughs> I'm down at 16,000, uh, about four miles from Keynes. Okay. I'm about, uh... Rob, thank you so much for uh, for the uh, for the raid. I really do appreciate. It. I'm flying the CJ4 also, as you can see. And. Um, And what happened was I was watching the videos and um, <laughs> didn't pay attention to it. Friend to all, if, if this is CJ4 or the working, the working title, this is the working title. I was just sh watching, showing the videos and I messed up on my descent. Oh, Northwest Airline. Let's see. As regular oh, wow, 150 miles. Yeah, a distraction. That was me. That was me. Look at... You can't see it because I'm so freaking high up. But look at that view right there. Um, Right there. Slayer T, look to the left. Look. Look at this add-on for Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Look at this right here to the left. Yeah, yeah I was too high up, so... Thanks, uh, Rob. Thank you so much, sir. I've got it, Dave. <laughs> yeah, you got it, all right. I, sh I messed up my descent. You're in a CJ4. You're okay. You can get that bird out of the sky. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, no, you're fine. You're in a CJ4. No, oh, I was... I, I wanted to descend correctly, you know what I mean? Speed and drop it, my friend. So, here we are. The nimble fella for a reason. See if it, it picks up. Um, as you can see, we are 20,000. Uh, fly level 200. And um, like this arrival, cause this arrival and I'm gonna have to really I'm gonna have to go a little bit further out. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Looking fly a little guys. bit, just a little bit further out, and then come back around, do heading mode. As you can see, look at that view right there of the that scenery. Look at that. When you're flying VFR, it looks a lot, especially if you were landing on the 2-6, that looks you amazing. Do, you didn't do real world time, did you? You cheated, didn't you? No, I, I, I did your, your, what you told me. Really? <laughs> I don't believe you. No, I, I, I have the sunset. <laughs> you see, because your screen doesn't look like my screen. <laughs> it's Which actually is beautiful here tonight, actually. It is really beautiful. Thanks, Rob. Thank you for coming out. You have a great night. Thank you for everyone that's come um, over from Rob's channel. I know you guys had a great flight. Rob is an excellent pilot, excellent mentor, and um, thank you so much. Yes, we do have enough fuel. We're just sevening out of... Um, International Airport now. Where are you guys? All right, so we are um, heading... We're going to go out just... Outbound west, because i got to come back around east. 
Look how beautiful this is. Miami traffic citation, seven Delta Romeo. Um, I'm too high due to the fact that Slayer T um, messed me up. So I am descending out of 15,000 to pattern altitude for eight left Miami traffic. Heard that professional Amazing. Call. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Things like that happen in real world, doesn't it? People start talking to you and then you screw everything up. Yeah, this is actually really. See, this is why I'm glad the team is back together. I love it. Yeah, I love that when you guys fly. It's it's really good. I, I really do appreciate you guys when you you come out and fly with me. Appreciate it. You too. All right, I am. I'm just outside of Rubo. Just east of Rubo. And we're descending here, guys. Thank you for everyone that's uh, stopped by. Again, I really do appreciate it. I do have another video that I have in real world flying into Sanford International. If you guys don't, um, if you guys fly in the Bravo and Charlie, um, there is another video. I just um, haven't had enough time here to show that. But Was this recent, Dave? Did you do these flights recently? Yeah, I did it two weeks ago, and then I'm going to do another one on Thursday. Got I'm going to be going to St. Pete. All right, we're descending out of 11,000. Hey, Melvin, thank you so much for coming by. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do the shout-out for Slant Alpha and Melvin um, Leroy. My um, my bot is down, I guess. So, um, again, uh, for those who are on here, click on his name, click on both of their names and, and give them a follow. And thank you for everyone that has followed on uh, my channel, November 7, Delta Romeo. I really do appreciate it. All right, we're descending out of 10, 10,000 feet. Uh, and this is pretty good because I, I was so high up. So we can go up to um, Vic, Victi, and then Victi, we can make a left-hand turn and then go direct to our um, approach end, which is going to be 3,000. So, and then we can capture the, I'm capturing uh, eight left, the RNAV eight left. Oh, Chugly, thank you so much for that. Chugly, thanks so much, sir. Yep, I figured I'd pretend to be a bot for a second. <laughs> yeah, I had, I did get Melvin Leroy. Um, you probably missed that. I did set him up. So where are you at now, um, Slayer? I am about to join um, Haile. I'm about to fly over Haile and uh, move on to, what's that point called? Boyer. Oh man, it's so beautiful here. Guys, we have to go to Bimini and fly into Miami International. It is the most beautiful thing you will see with your night lighting, Dave Rendon. We have to do that. All right, um, Mr. Chugley, I see you still in front of me. You're just getting to, to, to the vector to Vic, what is it, uh, Vicuv? Uh, I'm actually about to be vectored right inbound to Crow and do eight right down the ILS. Oh wait, did a center come on on us? No, no. I see Houston Oceanic is on, but not Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah, I see you, um, I see you at 42, uh, 4,000. 
I'm, I'm stopping at 4,000 right now because I'm getting close. And I see you making a left turn. So I'm going to wait till you get a little bit further out so I don't get to you. Look at you, too. I see you here. Look at this. A beautiful airplane. Stay on that. I don't see you. I see you. I mean, I, I, I pick you up on TCAS, but I, I don't see you. I got you in sight. On my EFB. Sim 2 Kit Pro. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to make a left-hand turn here. Okay, so Oh, I had it on heading. I'm sorry. I'm slowing down just a little bit. Left turn now. Uh, left turn. Uh, direct to Vicu, Vikov. And I'm slowing down to... Um, probably slowing down to 200. I just cut a whole bunch of my uh, flight plan out. Somehow... All right, guys, here we go. We are set for this approach. Came down a little bit too um, too high on approach, but that's okay. This is a great, good stream. Uh, got to show you a little bit of Miami in regarding to that, so that's um, the great part about it. We're just going to slow it down because we have our good friend Chugly is uh, in front of us. Chug, you're doing eight right, correct? Correct. All right, so no factor for us. We're doing eight left. Oh, heck yeah. Parallel runways. And then where's our good friend Slayer T in the Airbus? Nine. ILS nine, sir. <laughs> of course, it has to be different. Yeah, he did different. That's okay. I followed my company's <laughs> OFP. All right. And I looked at my winds and my meter and my tap. We're 21 miles in. Um, and my decisions were made for my 10 passengers. Find me traffic a citation 7 Delta Romeo 21 miles just uh, west of Vacu for uh, RNAV 8 left. Find me traffic. Oh, look at this view. This view is beautiful. Yep, look at this view. We're just coming up across on that, so that's pretty good. And just like everything else, I, I usually will hand fly it all the way through. So we're 21 miles. We're getting pretty good on it. Uh, we're 18 miles now, five minutes. Uh, this is the same plane that um, Rob flies on his stream. Yeah, I think he has the working. I think he was today when I was uh, watching him stream, he was flying this uh, CJ4. But um, as you can see, you can have it set like this or the charts on here. Yeah, we're good. All right, 
right, that looks good. My name is Chapter Delta 1012 inbound Copra, 8 right, about 15 miles, ILS, Miami. Send our rev uh, v rev speeds out. There's our rev. Oh, I can't even talk. V rev speeds and approaches 113. Bring it back out. We're doing really good. We can see we are 13 miles from V cov. Three mi uh, three minutes. supposed to be at 3,000. Let's see if she um, brings her down because what I did is I messed up the VNAV before. Let's see if she let's see if she comes down at this top of descent because I think I might have pressed something wrong. I brought it down to 2,000 just to see because it's over here says 1,500. Just want to see. Well, we can just bring it down to 1500, but let's see. Everything's looking good. We're bringing it back on the chart. I think Rob has this also on his flying. There's nothing really to see outside, but for some reason, sometimes your plane does not show up here. And then the next thing, when you click over, it has your um, your taxiways. It has everything. Look, everything's in there, ready for you to go. So, very nice. I like it. All right, I'm seven miles, and um, Slayer, how are you doing? Over the top of Canes at the moment. Okay. Excellent. We are looking good. Landing light is on. Logo light is on. I had the um, the, the the lights flashing back and forth uh, before. So um, um, blue when we got to ten thousand feet. All right, first notch of flaps coming in. And we're coming up, we're coming up to the top of the descent, and there's the V path, and there she goes. All right, our next uh, spot is uh, uh, Kate at 1500, and there's the descent. We drive at Delta 1012, uh, three mile final, eight right, full stop, Miami. This guy called full stop in his mad dog. What a GA guy. Oh dear. <laughs> And as we can see, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Coming up to 092 in the heading. We're doing an RNAV. 3,500, we're supposed to be going down. We're supposed to be at 3,000 at uh, Vitkov. So we're going to be at 3,000 here. We're really good on this approach. We're 6.2 miles from um, from Cade. Here's our turn. Really good on this RNAV approach, guys. Looking really good. Uh, looks like we're going to have a 10-knot headwind, 9 to 10. 
coming from the east. Looking good. Here's our descent to out of a uh, 2,000, 2,600 down to 1,500. Minimums here is 279. I forgot to breach, um, brief the arrival. Uh, Gate was supposed to be at 1500. Uh, this denies is 279. Missed approach is climbed to 800, then climb left and turn to 3000 direct Brobra and then hold. But we are not going to miss. And as you can see, the lights over here. I don't know if you landed already, Chug, or not, but Slayer, look, look at the right in front of me. Look at the lights. It, this goes from my, uh, Key West all the way to Boca. That the I have to show you the link later on. They, so good looking. They re redid the lights all through here. Hey, I got it. <laughs> oh, I do you? you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Microsoft Flight Simulator's got to look pretty for me, baby. All right, here we go. Descending out of uh, 1700. Lambda traffic Delta 1012 is now clear. Eight right. There's an FBO all the way over the other side of the field. I'm just going to turn. Have to hit the gate. Yeah, I'm going to turn left, and um, there's usually like. I'm going to try to get off at yep. uh, Uniform and then cross over uh, 3 0 to hit. Uh, oh, we're to, doing looking uh, good. Hit the gates over there. like the F or G gates. Miami traffic citation, seven Delta Romeo short final for eight left full stop Miami. Spoken like a true pro. Yeah, baby. Couldn't have done it as good as that. All right, we're coming off of autopilot here, guys. Autopilot. Stand by for that Dave Rendon butter. All right, we're doing good. We're on our V rev speed here. We're going to hold this on autopilot. It was showing a little bit. We're going to hold it right here, guys. We do have three green confirmed. Glide slope looks good. We're going to keep it at 109. Continuing. There's a center line and we're holding it. You can feel you can feel the wind pushing me a little bit. If you understand what I mean, there we go. Hold that. Just a little high. Minimums. Continuing. We're not landing on the on the on the numbers, guys. We're just gonna get this in here and butter it in and actually do a safe landing. Here you go, center line. And hold her because she wants to float. And powered back. There it is. Protect that nose. Glide across the runway. Just glide like you got socks on, gliding across the kitchen float. Hey. There she is. That was a negative 73. And she's down. <laughs> And she's down, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Miami. The local time is 11.40. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're 
going to just taxi over here, um, come over here and clean up. Look at that big 747 from Quant. Is that? Oh, that's it. All right, flaps are up, autopilot's on. We're going to go ahead and turn off the landing lights and taxi lights come on. Strobes are off. You know what? I think there's something wrong with... Um, there it is. And Miami traffic citation 7 Delta Romeo is clear of 2-6. Um, correction, 8 left. Taxiing over to uh, general aviation. Miami traffic. Thank you. Thank you, um, Jose. Thank you so much. What? I love this little airplane. Actually, we're just going to go over here. Look at this beauty. Oh, oh, wow. Not there. I wasn't paying attention. I almost went in here. So we're just going to go across here. Our good friend um, Sogan is back. We did a butter. 73, negative 73, my friend. Negative 73. We all landed in Miami. And we will turn back around. Grease straight from the flyer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we did. And then these lights over here work over here. If you want to turn these on, you can turn these on too to make them brighter. So if you you didn't want to fly at night, but everything. But we did a great job. So Look at this. Right now. Really nice. Everything um, set. We're not going to, um, if we were going to do anything else, um, you know, we would turn, have a ground power unit just in case. But we can do um, the ground, oh, you know what, you can't do the ground power when the engines are running. So, you can turn this down to patch on there and then What a um, mass and recut. What a uh, cold to dark. What a um, a good flight this was. Um, I wish I could have done a little bit Maybe better flight. But look how look how nice that that is. And we were waiting for a good friend to good. to um, to come in. But what what. A great um, stream that was on there. Waiting for our good friend to land. <laughs> or me. We're waiting for you, sir. If you guys can do me a favor, please hang around. One we are going to plane is bringing it in. We are going to raid a um her name is um Heidi. She is learning to fly and she's using Microsoft 2020 to do so. She's a student pilot and I see her she's on there. She has one viewer but um um we we're just watching our good friend land here but I want um, all of you guys to go over, show us some love for the November 7 Delta Romeo crew. If you can put all the, um, some Raid or 7 Delta Romeo on there. But I do want to fly a bush flying. I've never done that before. Colorado or or Canada? A, a Chugley um, or Slayer. Oh, he's landing. Chugley, do you remember uh, with bush, um, you can do it in Canada, correct? Or in Denver? I've never done it. They, do they do bush flying in Canada? Yeah, they do it. Canada, yeah. uh, British Utah. Columbia. Canada, yeah. yeah. So my next stream, besides doing, 
the CJ4, I want to do a bush flying. Um, Sogan has been asking to do that, and I know he couldn't come in today, but um, Sogan is saying, are we waiting on Slayer T again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but there, our next stream, we need to do that. We need to do that, and then once we finish the uh, bush flying, then we can take the um, the Airbus or the MD-80. I'll take the CJ-4, and we'll fly someplace else from wherever it is. Um, every Tuesday night, we fly, and if I can, any other time, I will stream uh, if I can, but tonight, I want to um, go over and... If you... If you could do it. Feet coming in. All right. So I want to thank everyone for um, for coming out and everything else. And I, I really do appreciate it. If you can uh, give me the chance to um, raid um, Heidi and, and show her some love, I really do appreciate it. If you guys can come back, see our stream, and uh, do some flying with us, I would really appreciate it. Come join our Discord and um, and be a part of it. Again, my name is David. I am a real world pilot, and um, I really do appreciate it. Our good friend Slayer T is just landing, but he's on the other side, so we're not going to be able to see it. Till then, let's just say hi to Heidi. I really do appreciate everyone coming out. God bless, and see ya!